this simple puzzle shows how deep the chest ravage hole can go. In this position, it's white to play and win. White's in a better position, black's a bit passive, but the material is about equal and black is about to break out with knight f6 check or king g7. How can we win this game? The first move is king f7, a good move, putting these pieces imprisoned. Black plays knight h6 check, but this doesn't help them break out because after the move king f8, they're still stuck. Our knights dominating their knight, so they have only one move to not lose, which is knight g8 back. And now white continues the theme of domination with knight g4, a really good move. As you can see, both their knight and their king can't really move. They only have one move left, pawn h6. This gives them some breathing room. Now we activate our king with king f7 and knight e5. But black's plan is just to wait king h8, king h7 forever. So how do we win this game as white? We had to put them in a zoop swap. Did you think the move was knight g6 check? Unfortunately, it's not going to win because after king h7, knight f8 check, the fact that this move is a check is the problem. After king h8, we want this position to be black's move because then they have to move the knight. Their king is stuck, their pawn stuck. But how do we waste a move here as white? Simply moving the knight back and forth is not enough because the knight moves in an even pattern and so does their king so this is always going to be the same exact position we can't waste a move with the knight so what can we waste a move with okay let's go back we need a brilliant plan here we wish our king could move but the problem is the time our king moves black can move their king out as well so we had to be really really creative here to win the game can you see the idea it starts with knight c4. Where is the knight going? King h7, knight d6, and then knight e8. What a brilliant, brilliant idea. So after king h7, our king is actually free to move. As long as we keep an eye on this square, black is unable to move anywhere. Black plays king h8, and now we play king d6, king h7, and now can you see the final brilliant move that wins the game? It's king d7. What's going on? King h8, white plays king e6, king h7, king f7. Everything looks the same, but there was one difference. We moved one two three four five while they moved one two three four we broke the pattern and now white can actually rotate the knight back knight c7 king h7 knight e6 king h8 knight f8 magically we lost one tempo and black is totally stuck they have to move the knight now we take the knight and win the game